to find court records which include both civil and criminal cases that often list the residential addresses of parties, open a web browser and navigate to courts.mo.gov slash c-n-e-t slash welcome dot d-o. Once you are on the Missouri Courts webpage, click the button for Litigant Name Search in the upper left-hand corner. On the Litigant Name Search page, type in the last name, the first name, and any known middle name or middle initial. Keep in mind, if the party was listed in the court records with only a middle initial, then searching for the full middle name may prevent the desired record from showing up. Likewise, if the party was listed in the court record with only a first name and last name, then inputting even a middle initial may also prevent the desired record from showing up, so you may need to try different variations to locate the desired court record. Once you have entered the name information, click on the Find button on the lower left portion of the page to run your search. You can now scroll through the results to find your desired records. By default, the results page will list 10 records per page. You can change this to 25, 50, or 100 records per page by clicking on the Show 10 Results drop-down menu above the results on the left-hand side of the page and clicking on the number of results you would like to see per page. If there were many court records for litigants with the same name, the records may be spread across multiple pages. To navigate to other records, scroll down to the bottom of the page. On the right-hand side, you can select a particular page of results to navigate to, or you can click the Previous or Next Page links. Once you find the desired record, click the blue hyperlink case number to see the full details of the court case. From this page, if you click on the Parties and Attorneys tab, you will see the names of the litigants and their addresses. To print or save a copy of a record, click the Print option in the menu ribbon below the website's header. From the pop-up that appears, you can print the record by selecting a printer and clicking on the Print button. Alternatively, you can save the record by selecting Save as PDF and clicking on the Save button. If you have any questions or need any further assistance, please contact the History and Genealogy Department.